Hey everyone, it's Eric Goins from Flywheel Studio here. This is part two of our kind of mini series. It's only two parts and it's pretty short videos of what you can and cannot build in Adalo. The last video was what can you build? And this video is what can you not build? So I wanna talk about the three main types of apps that you cannot build in Adalo, okay? And it's really simple and and to be honest, I think most of that makes a lot of sense to people once we go through this. But let me show you the most common things that I think people think they're going to make. Maybe uh, not really sure what exactly what people want actually uh, in terms of this because um, most of our clients aren't trying to do this personally. But I think out of all the apps in the app store, these are the most common types that you cannot do in a, in a dollar. Number one is games. You are not going to be making a uh, civilization, uh, you know, a League of Legends or a racing game. Adalo is designed for you to have data that's structured, that users interact with. Again, this is like beating a dead horse while I was saying it in the last video, but it's really about you know, having that database collection structure that users can interact with. And games are just very different from that. There's a few core components that Dollar doesn't have. In particular, you don't really have this whole thing about, um, you know, how a user would just interact with the game on the screens. That it would be very, very difficult to do that on a Dollar. The second thing is you don't have access to a lot of the functions that most modern games have, whether it's like the gyroscope so people can tilt it. Um, you, you just don't have those features. And so I think majority of, of what you would see in terms of games here, like a sliding block puzzle, um, a farming simulation, you would just never, ever want to build that in a dollar. It would not work. Do not do it. Okay, our second thing here, okay, is entertainment, all right? Adalo is not designed to integrate with other physical devices, and it probably would not integrate with a lot of uh, other solutions. So if there's an API out there and you have a custom API, you can connect an Adalo app to that, okay? has to match. It has to be a RESTful API and a few other things, but... That's the only integration Adalo has. So you're not going to be doing like a screening to a TV. Um, you know, it's not going to be, you're not going to use Adalo to live stream different things. Although I think I guarantee you somebody will implement that in the future. Um, you probably aren't going to use it to, you know, integrate with Netflix, although maybe you could. I, I just think a lot of these are a little more complicated than what you'd want to do on a Dalo. It's not, you know, some things you might be able to in the future, but that doesn't mean you necessarily should. And the other one I want to say with that is also things like, uh, like these type of business apps here. So like opening and using PDFs, Yes, you could show a PDF on a Dalo, but you wouldn't want to try it. You cannot edit a PDF on a Dalo. You cannot convert files on a Dalo. Um, it wouldn't work for like remote desktop type integrations. Um, you know, you're not going to be opening uh, open office documents on a Dalo. You can just view things if if they're in certain formats, and that's that's really it. Um, for some of these like Trello, you absolutely could build a Trello board on a Dalo. Um, we, we actually basically did that with our Cami clone that we developed for Nodalo. I'll say though, a Dalo doesn't have a feature where you can drag and drop things within the apps yet, at least. Um, so you can't, you wouldn't be able to drag a card across to a different status you have to click on the card and change the status. And that kind of goes back to the game thing that it's not designed to be interactive from a physical use standpoint. Um, there's no haptic feedback, really. There's no um, you know, structure that would work well for games. 
it's just very well designed for uh, displaying information and allowing users to interact with that inter information. Let's see what else is here. So, you know, let's go here. Oh, you know what? This is probably, actually, this is a good one. Calculator apps. Um, you probably wouldn't want to do that with Adalo. Okay, so oh, I thought there might be one here. I don't see one. Um, Adalo is is not great for running scripts or doing complex calculations. In some scenarios, you can do, do that, but it doesn't mean, again, that you should. Okay, so I would expect that that's not a, a great use case. A better use case, though, would be a currency conversion calculator because uh, this is a list, okay, and you can integrate Adalo directly into a um, currency um, API. You might not want to do a full function thing here and try and do math. I, I, I guess maybe that's up to you if you want to try and do that, but it would be very easy to build something where you put in an amount in one currency and you select the other currency and then that will tell you um, what that currency is worth based off of the exchange rate at that time, that would be something easy to do. A travel app, very easy to do. Um, you know, almost all of these have APIs that you can connect to. This is a structured information that you can pull in. We looked at building this for one of our clients and um, we saw that it was very feasible to work with uh, their systems and uh, build kind of like a structured thing. So travel would be good, but you would, again, you're not doing any complex calculations in there. The last thing I'll say is Adalo doesn't have a great photo editing. It doesn't have any photo editing at the moment. Okay. So uh, you can't upload a photo and then resize it and then change the colors. There's no filters. So building something that's more like a true Instagram app is not possible at the moment. Um, and that's really probably the biggest limitation to social apps that we see right now. It's just that lack of um, a custom component for this. But uh, I would fully expect this to change when the Adalo custom component store becomes available. And then secondly, you know, on that, the one main point that a lot of people are probably thinking about right now is what about GPS? And I didn't mention it because we know that Adalo is implementing it in the very near future. So anything that requires GPS, you'll be able to do in the future. I'm not worried about that. It's coming out, guys. Be patient. But just remember, just because you have GPS doesn't mean that you can do everything that you want with GPS. So for instance, if you wanna build an Uber app, you know, majority of Uber's value is not the fact that it knows where you are or where the driver is. That's not it, okay? The majority of the value is the fact that they have algorithms that route the closest driver to, to go pick you up. And then um, you know, it, it gives that driver the most efficient route to your destination. Those are all things that are beyond just GPS. So do keep that in mind. You do want to think about, um, you know, the different components that you're trying to build for an application, because just because you, you can't do one part of it doesn't mean, or you can do one part of it doesn't mean you can't do the other part or you can. I hope that's helpful. If you have questions about what you can build with Adalo, do let me know in the comment section below. I will happily tell you whether it's possible, not possible. I always tell people two things. One, Whatever you start with is not what you finish with. So don't think that, oh, because I can't build a, you know, an app that has 75 different features exactly the way I want them to. That doesn't mean you shouldn't build it. And that doesn't mean you can't build it on a Adalo. Um, you're probably thinking too big if you're even thinking about limitations like that from day one. So that's, I, that is almost the wrong mindset. And then the second thing is Adalo is in, in a way, not entirely, but almost infinitely flexible because we can create custom components for React Native. So if just because something doesn't exist today in Adalo doesn't mean it won't be there tomorrow. And once Adalo opens up the custom component paid marketplace, 
we're fully expecting a flood of custom components as people um, now have the appetite to invest in those. So again, you know, we're really excited about the future of what you can do with Adalo. And I fully expect that you will be able to build significantly more apps in the future. And I know that's the Adalo team's goal. The one area that I would fully expect that you'll never really be building apps for Adalo is always probably going to be games um, and anything that's super interactive like that. Um, it's just that's I don't think that's what makes sense. Um, and if you're building games, you probably need to have more development skill than what it would take to build an Adalo app anyway. So keep that in mind. Again, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below.